This video will go through the steps of creating a course reserves list in Sitka's Evergreen. This includes attaching terms to a course, adding users to a course, and associating materials with a course. To access course reserves, go to Administration, Local Administration, Course Reserves List. Click Create Course. Enter the course number and name. Owning Library will be automatically filled in. Multi-branch libraries can set the Owning Library to be a different branch or to be their system. A section number can be included when relevant. Click Save. Your course is now created. You can now add users, attach terms, and associate materials. From the course list, select the course you'd like to add a term to. From the Actions menu, choose Edit Selected. Click on the Course Terms tab. Click Attach Course to a Term. From the drop-down, select the term you'd like to attach to the course. Click Save. Repeat this for any additional terms that should be attached to this course. From the course list, select the course you would like to add users to. From the Actions menu, choose Edit Selected. Click on the Course Users tab. Instructors, teaching assistants, and students can be added to courses. The names of the instructors and teaching assistants will display in the public catalog. To add a user, enter the user's barcode or click on Search for Patron to find the patron. Start typing the name of the role into the role field and select the applicable role. Click Add User. Repeat for any additional users you'd like to add to the course. From the course list, select the course you would like to associate materials with. From the Actions menu, choose Edit Selected. Click on the Course Materials tab. Both physical and electronic materials can be associated with a course. Physical materials can be associated with a course on the Associate Item tab. Enter the item's barcode. Enter the relationship the item has with the course. This is a free text field, so you can use the terminology that will make the most sense to your students. The item will be updated to use the call number, circulation modifier, item status, and or shelving location that you enter. The changes to call number, circulation modifier, and shelving location are temporary, and Evergreen will restore those fields to their original value when the course is archived. The status of the item is not updated when the course is archived. Once the information is entered in the relevant fields, click Add Material. The item is added to the list. There is currently a display bug where the new call number doesn't display initially in the list. However, the new call number does display as expected in the staff and public catalog. Repeat the process for additional items. The relationship, call number, circulation modifier, item status, and shelving location fields will retain the values you set until you manually change them or navigate away from the page. Electronic resources that are in your catalog can be associated with courses on the Associate Electronic Resources from Catalog tab. To add an electronic resource, you need to know the bibliographic record ID, also known as the database ID, for the record. This can be found in the record summary in the staff catalog. Enter the bibliographic record ID. Enter the relationship the item has with the course. This is a free text field, so you can use the terminology that will make sense to your students. Click Add Material. The resource is added to the list. Repeat the process for additional resources. Electronic resources that are not part of your Evergreen catalog can also be associated with courses. This is done on the Associate Brief Record tab. 
enter the relationship the resource has with the course. This is a free text field, so you can use the terminology that will make the most sense to your students. Choose the relevant form. This is character 23 of the 008 in a MARC record. Choose the relevant type. This is character 06 of the leader in a MARC record. Enter the title of your resource. Enter the URI for your resource. Enter the text you would like to have display for the link. Click Add Material. The resource is added to the list. There is currently a bug where some of the fields disappear when a resource is added. Refresh the page to restore the fields and repeat the process as needed for additional resources. The brief record is removed from the catalog when the course is archived. When course reserves is enabled in the public catalog, users can search for and view course reserves lists. Course details, instructors, and materials related to the course display. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.